The Killer's Girl is the second book in the Detective Morgan Brooks series. Detective Morgan Brooks is a troubled young woman. Suffering from insomnia she wakes every morning at 4.25 and knows she also has regular nightmares which she struggles to remember in detail. The secret in The Killer's Girl plays out well and had me as eager and anxious as ever. I felt such countless various feelings all through, that when I was done, I was mentally exhausted, however positively. Helen Pfeiffer takes her readers along for the ride and on this one also she makes them experience the story as the characters do. I truly love the personality of Morgan Brooks. She has a ton going on in her life. Her mom passed on when she was only 15 and she has not slept past 4.25 am since. She is attempting to accommodate with her dad who turned into a heavy drinker after her demise. With supervisor DS Ben Matthews she pledges to discover the killer who killed Gabby Stevens and left a particularly awful scene for her devastated parents to discover. Few clues to go on they will wait for criminological tests to be finished. At the point when the outcomes come through however, Morgan ends up pushing into the center point of the examination in manner she would never have envisioned and no clue about how to save her career as well as her life. The first novel in this series hit the spot for me and I thought whether this would arrive at those statures. It totally does, and as just the second book in this new series it hit the ground running and didn't ease up on the continued trauma, determination and disarray that is Morgan's life. Her relationship with colleagues, Ben and Amy alongside the speculative advances being taken among Morgan and her dad, Stan, are composed well to the point. The stream from the two sides of this story never takes steps to overpower one another. This is a splendid book I really read it in a few nights I continued speculating until the end. I have perused all of Helen Pfeiffer books and looking forward the following one.